He's right on me nuts, boys. I-15 escort. Worst escort 2016. Hostile team is capping. Don't worry. Ah ha ha. Bombs away. I don't even care if I die right now. Here we are, the Deutsches Afrika Corps. The DAK obviously stands for Deutsches Afrika Corps. And we got our Panzer II DAC. Daka, daka, daka. Um, kind of if you're a fan of Warhammer 40k and you like the orcs, or if you just want to imagine the fire rate of this 20 millimeter. Um, so I've got it loaded with HVAP rounds. So pretty good penetration, maybe too good. Some people don't understand. Um, the thought of take like, I think that's crazy. Some people are like, I never get why you take out two cons of ammunition, Baron, cause you know all the enemy types are the same, and some there's no such thing as over penetration or lack of penetration. So one round should be good enough to kill everybody. And you know what? I respectfully disagree with you. Um, the one oh shit. There we go. Yeah, I've got... Oh, get out of there. Woo, boy. All right. This is... We're in for it now. I just realized while I was tasing people, I was running up into no man's land and we're probably going to die. We're going to kill everybody first. Reloading. Don't you even look at me. He sees me. Now would be the time to kill him. I see you, son of a tit. Let's repair these. Oh, did they get my engine in the back there? Oh my god. They're everywhere. Guys, this is kind of nerve wracking. My aim is, uh,. Probably honestly about 40% right now Because uh, my right ring finger which is on my mouse is very badly damaged um, It's in this weird little splint type cast thing. Oh my god. They're behind me Did that guy just die I think he did let's check And let's pull back because they're hitting my transmission when I turned. Oh my. We're still in the... Let's see. Drop some artillery. Hope for a kill. We're the furthest up from our team. So we're likely going to soak up most of the beating. And since we're a Panzer II, we're not really built for that. So what I'm going to do is sneak around this side. Um, if... Yeah, okay. That's right, tree. Dude, a tree falling on a Panzer II top? That could be actually bad if the physics was implemented, you know, like that. I think someone might be shooting right from here. The water might be getting a little deeper. Oh, shit. Shit! I hope we killed him. I don't think we did. No, we definitely did. Oh my gosh, a little twofer. See, that's the thing is like, so as a result, since I can't really rely on my hand, like I would normally maybe be able to, um, I'm playing at a disadvantage, man. Much like the Germans were playing at a disadvantage during World War II. Oh, is this guy creeping? Oh, shit. Ground unit destroyed, wow. He must have been hit already, so we're on a nice little... Hat trick. Um, I feel like we're doing pretty good. But yeah, you guys requested. 
to do the Panzer II and the Stuka. I'm going to see if I can't get the Stuka. We'll probably die, but we definitely have enough points now to get back in the fight. Oh. He fired from behind that rock. Yeah, so, like, honestly, uh, strafing to the right is an issue uh, in under strafing. Like, um, and moving to the left, I actually over move, if that makes any sense. I'm actually clamping the mouse incredibly tight right now, and it's it kind of, there's hand fatigue too. So, needless to say, my injury has drastically affected my performance. Oh, tits. I accidentally spam clicked. I need reinforcements. Um, we have time. Oh, there we go. Someone sees it. We got a T-70 moving up. Someone's moving up. Okay. So I'm getting reinforcements. Hopefully seeing that... Let's see who we're fighting. Americans and British. Is that what I think it is? Yes, it is. It was. I'm, I'm loving these HVAPs. But they're not the best against planes. Oh, God. We got enemy planes everywhere. What is that? A Boston? Oh, if that's a Boston. Enemy sighted. No one's really popping up. You can, you can proceed out. I'll follow you. Looks like there's fire coming from right behind that. So I'm really having to rely on, um, you know, just, what would you call it? Oh, this guy's taking fire. I'm hoping the guy peeks out. Here, let me get off you. <laughs> okay, I was trying to... Yeah, okay, now we got it, buddy. We're team working. We're working as a team. Unless you keep flaring out like that. And I know I've got my side exposed. Um... All right, we're taking the objective. I'm gonna pee, I'm gonna relocate here. Move to the other side. Four kills. Okay. All right. Not bad for a gimp. Um, myself right now. Ooh, we have no cover on that side, so I could easily get shot from that flank if they decide to move out. We're very, we're concentrated in the center. Very little on the left and right flank. Oh my God, they are behind us. That's scary. Oh, I love this game. That's those moments right there, man. Just the atmosphere. The epicness that happens. Burning planes. Crashes. Moving in this little river valley right now. In the middle of Tunisia. Which is my favorite map. So let's see if I can't maneuver around. That's an ally. JU-88 is just getting shelled at. Hoping no one sees me. My camouflage doesn't work very well when there's a blue and green surrounding. But I like the uh, defilade or hold down opportunities I can get. Look at this. Follow the tracers. Okay, that is an, what looks like maybe an M13. Hit him. No crits, but another hit. He did ping up. I should have used artillery. Enemy kill assist. Panzer 4E with the big 75 round for this tier anyway. Let's see. Four rounds. Ooh. We've only got four, what, mags left? So 10 rounds. We got 30 rounds of HVAP left. But we still have pretty decent rounds in our APITs. Oh, that guy's peeking up there. This is, this is interesting. Ah, oh, we gave away our position. He knows where we're at. But I wouldn't imagine he would expect us to pull up to this position. And he is dead. So there's that. I think he's dead. I'm fairly certain he's dead. Hostile team is capturing zone A. Look how close quarters this is and there's someone capping it right now. I'm just impressed that's actually happening. What is happening to our team? Oh my, look at this. That that aircraft just pinged these guys. Oh wow. 
All right, he knocked out. Let's see if I can't flank, man. Do a little flank and spank. This guy's alive. Just gotta be careful not to expose myself in the process. He's dead. What about this one? I think that's an artillery emplacement in sandbags. But in my excitement, one round left. Start the reload process. They took it? Oh, is that guy alive? Is that... Yeah, that is. Oh, there's two of them, I think. Is that a bomb? One round left in this mag. We're going to empty it out. And then um, I'm torn. We, we've got a guy in this sector capping it. So what I'm going to go for now is try to intercept anyone who's trying to go for that cap. I still have my artillery, so if this plane flies over and spots some people, no one's getting pinged. I think... Oh, 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 shit. That is the T-17. Shit, and he went this way? Hmm. So if we have a close quarter battle with the T-17, given I would assume his right hand is fine, I would anticipate us. Oh shit! Losing that. Oh no. The veteran tanker. If this crew doesn't switch over fast enough, we're dead! Oh, I didn't even get the artillery off. Yeah, I don't have the reflexes I used to, but you know what? This gives an opportunity to bring out the Stuka. Look at that. Man, my commander's head is clean off. After surviving much of the battle, um, time for the Stuka R2. Let's take a 1,000, right? Not do enough damage. We should, and we've got this amazing uh, DAK camo pattern here. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Doesn't... Look at this. A Stuka in its natural environment. Look at the coast. There's the nice city of Tunis, maybe? Would it be Tunis in Tunisia? Um, we do have enemy aircraft up. It looks like there's two of them. I would imagine from that guy's maneuvers, he is a fighter. Uh, I'd imagine from that guy's size right now, he's a fighter. So what we're going to do is hopefully kill some people, right? Um, once again, the hand is borked. And I want to I wanna slow down my speed here. We should have an aiming reticle once we start diving. Stuka would be a, is, is a dive bomber. Obviously. <laughs> uh, yeah, that Stuka is getting run down by a buffalo? Or did they kill the buffalo? Oh shit, no they did not. Wow. Really overestimated my roll rate. Let's punch it. We gotta get this bomb off. We got a buffalo coming in. Oh god. It's time to do the dolphin dive. Look for targets. Can't tell who's alive and who's dead. Hostile team is capping. If we survive this, which I don't think we will, because we have no maneuverability with this 1,000 kilo bomb. We're going to have to just plant this. That's got to be him, isn't it? T-17E2, okay. Objective secured. Now I'm going to try to get back to base. I think someone covered my six there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Tank's trying to get lucky. 
So we saved the objective from getting capped, but you can see some movement, lots of action still happening. There's really only one cap. He may have gone back to base, the enemy buffalo. But that enabled us to get in, drop a bomb, which honestly, we couldn't really miss too much with. It was a 1,000. Um, as far as the war of attrition, I think we're losing it. Um, and taking off with a 1,000 kilo will be difficult. All right, coming in for a landing here. Ah, uh, look at this beautiful desert. Not somewhere you'd really want to live, but you know what? Like a glove. Let's put on the brakes. Elevator down. So we'll get our tail section to drop. And we should roll to a nice stop. Let's go ahead and say hi to those in the guard tower. What's up, boys? We back. Oh, a little bit over, but you know what? All said and done, pretty good. Given the gimpness, the gimpitude. Oh, little I-15 air cover. All right, so yeah, let's let's take it out. Right, we we've shown off the Panzer II. It proved admirably. We've got one assist, six kills, five kills from the Panzer II, one from the Stuka. Um, plus, at this time in the game, like we could J out and spawn back in. Two. Man, this thing does very well at acceleration. Let's put our landing gear up. Just kidding. You know, it'd be interesting. I'm surprised there's no variance, uh, at least that I'm aware of, where they tried to work on, um, you know, landing gear that would go up. But I would imagine since it's a dive bomber, all the bombs were on external hard points. Hostile teams capping zone A. This could be perfect. Depending on how many there are. I still think that they have the advantage as far as this war of attrition. One, two, three, four, five of them are still in the game. One, two, three, four, five of us are still in the game. Two of us are up in the air. I'm going to scan the horizon looking for enemy aircraft. I'm not seeing any. So we've just got to get there. Our water is overheating in this hot desert. Hostile team is stop capping. Well done to the Panzer 38T, the Panzer check. Taking out the British A-13 Mach 2. Oh, we do have enemy aircraft. Sighted if you look just above our antenna right now. And I guess it's not really the antenna. That's the thing that controls the rudder, isn't it? So that guy looks like he's going straight on a bombing run. Let's see if we see any explosions. I'm not seeing any. I didn't see any tracer fire coming out of it if he was... I'm really hoping that I-15 sees him. Because I need him to intercept him. Oil's heating up, water's heating up. We are getting the cap, so I need to be aware. Damn, I-15, what are you doing? Shit. Now there's me. I just try to usually do things that they wouldn't expect. Let's see if I die. Nope. Okay, not yet. Oh my god. He's right on me nuts, boys. I-15 escort. Worst escort 2016. Hostile team is capping. Don't worry. Ah ha ha. Bombs away. I don't even care if I die right now. 2X. M2A4. I got a critical hit. Oh, I think he killed my gunner. Try a somersault. No, my gunner was reloading. Yo, get off my nuts, boy. Aircraft destroyed. Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the Deutsches Afrika Corps cannot be stopped. Let's take this WEP off. And you know what? Well done to you, sir. You did the best you could. All right. I can't fault you for that. Now, I could play spotter, I think. My water is definitely still heating up. They must have got... I mean, if you look at my plane, it's all kinds of critical. I'm going to overfly. We're probably going to get shot down. I'm going to try to ping some enemy tanks. I love this map. I had a very good time in this DAC array here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, shit. Dude, this, these guys are nicking the tits out of me here. Well, I found them. 
You know, we gotta cool down, don't we? I'm gonna land right in this river. That's my goal. Yeah. Water's overheated. It's at red. It's at critical. Critically hot. We need to cool this baby down. And since we have command of the theater, then I think it's only fitting. Let's slow this baby down. Oh, yeah. We're going to land in this riverbed. Oh, no! Oh, don't you shoot at me. Yeah, we would land in the river. We would be recovered by the crew. Um, by the victorious Germans who just took Tunisia. The back and forth in Northern Africa. That's a theater that doesn't get much love in movies. Um, you know, and it's a little, it's a bit of a shame because that'd be really interesting to see what happened. So let's see. Five kills for the Panzer II. DAC, which was requested. Three kills by the JU-87R, which was requested. Um, oh, no, no, no. Wait. And then one aircraft also kill, uh, taken out by our rear gunner. So all said and done, we had a pretty good performance. Our friend here sold out. Uh, probably had some pretty good caps. Oh, yeah, three zone caps? Damn. Um, but you know what? It's some teamwork here. We had some caps done by these guys as well. So props to you for playing the objective, gentlemen. You kept the war going. Um, I did my part. It's a good team effort. So let's take a look at this bad boy here. The JU-87R. I love the Stukas. They're so interesting. They're so silly. They did so well at the beginning of war, and then they did so poorly near the end. Hans Ulrich Rudel, or Rudel, um, would it be pronounced that way, was probably one of the best-known German pilots of the war and easily the best-known Stuka pilot. He flew almost in all the variants, all the way up to the Kanonenvogels, the ones with the 37s. Really badass pilot. He also has an epic quote, which I love. Um, he's just like a guy who just gave, didn't, didn't give up at all. Then the Panzer II DAC, the Ama, 35 millimeters, at its strongest point. It's got these really good HVAP rounds, um, which have a lot of orcs. Yeah, the Panzer Granat 40s, really good penetration, and you're gonna need it because you got the fire rate. And you got to know that you got to find those critical spots. So I'm proud of my performance. Like, oh, yes. Yes. Oh, you know what? See, right there was the swastika, but instead they put the X. But that is the insignia of the DAK, the Deutsches Afrika Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know which combination you'd like to see me play next or just tank because this is the tank request series. But you know what, in realistic battles, a lot of these tanks can pair very nicely with some uh, fighter aircraft. Well, specifically attacker or bomber aircraft. I don't really fly out fighters in tank battles. It's just not really what I'm interested in. I love attacking ground targets. And it's a tank battle. It's a tank realistic battle. You know? Um, yeah, look at this. Nice weathered tan camouflage. All the stains from sand and heat and rust. Ah, what a glorious battle we just had, ladies and gentlemen. That was that was pretty good. That was fun. Thank you guys for requesting that. Let me know what you'd like to see me play next. And you know what? I'll see you guys in the next one. See you soon.